Good morning, Falcons. I'm Cole. And I'm Josh. Today is Thursday, December 19th. We hope you're having a great day. Fiva has several state-ranked wrestlers who will be competing in an in-school match after the break. Our Athletic Thursday team found out more. Hi, I'm Josh with Athletic Thursdays, and I'm here with the uh, head wrestling coach, Coach Bullwinkle. Uh, how's the team doing so far, Coach? Team's doing pretty well. We got uh, four guys ranked in the top ten in the state right now. I think as a team, we're ranked in the top ten in the state. So we moved up uh, to 2A this year, so hard of division. So we're doing pretty well. Uh, who do you think some standout wrestlers are on your team? Uh, like I said, we got four guys ranked in the top 16 in the state. Joey Zizzo, Cole Mannion, uh, Nico Lightfoot, Andrew Shear. We also got uh, Jose Morales is really making a big turnaround from last year, and I'm sure he'll be ranked here pretty soon. Uh, when's your next match going to be, and how do you think you're going to do? Next match is on Friday. It's at uh, it's a golf duels tournament. It's at uh, actually we're going to be wrestling at Ridgewood on Friday night. We'll wrestle five uh, four duel matches. We'll wrestle Nature Coast, Wesley Chapel, Crystal River, and River Ridge. So in the winner top three in the pool, we'll move on to Saturday's event, which will be at Golf High School. Okay. All right. All right, uh, tell me more about the in-school match, Coach. In-school match is a great opportunity f to get all the Falcons out to uh, see us wrestle. It'll be six period, probably do an activity bell schedule. It'll be 2 or $3, and you get to buy a ticket during lunch. Uh, it's that first week we get back from school from Christmas break. So buy a ticket, come out and support your Falcons. We'll be wrestling Mitchell High School. All right, thanks, Coach. 5A is looking for volunteers to assist with the 2014 Conference Wrestling Tournament on January 25th. Individuals are needed to assist with concessions, scoring, runners, the hospitality room, and ticket takers. If you're interested, see Mr. Mo or email him at mo at pasco.k12.fl.us. Congratulations to the new MU, Alpha Theta Honor Society members. These students have gone beyond Algebra 2 with at least a 3.0 GPA in math cumulative from Algebra 1. These students will compete against other schools by working on math problems at their meetings. This is the first chapter of Mu Alpha Theta at 5A due in part to an anonymous donor who fronted the initial fee. Softball open fields will be held from 315 to 430 today. Players must have a current physical on file to participate in open field. Trials will begin on Tuesday, January 7th from 320 to 530 and run through Friday, January 10th. Girls interested in trying out must have a completed physical form turned into Coach Bollinger before trying out. Players also need a, their own glove and cleats. See Coach Bollinger and Boys PE with any questions. The cost to purchase a yearbook is $70. The price will increase again soon, so be sure to order yours at this price. See Mr. Kovac in room 1204 with any questions. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Let's uh, let's figure it out. Here's the cord. All right. Fire this bad boy up. Dude, these girls, I swear. Uh, oh, I gotta show you what this one girl sent me earlier. Look at this, man. Dude, look, she so, keeps being like this, and I can't. I don't know what to do. Yo, bro, I just seriously can't believe that. Like, yeah. why would she say something? Yo, bro, watch out! Dude, we just hit somebody. Dude, oh my god. Oh my God. Yo, call, call 911. Welcome back. Any student interested in playing baseball during the spring season should plan to attend a meeting tomorrow after school in room 3118. Dates for tryouts, expectations, and paperwork will be explained in detail. Please plan to attend if you wish to participate in baseball for the regular season. The varsity girls basketball team defeated Dunedin 56-18 on Tuesday night. Amber Taylor and Kira Libby led the Falcons with 13 points apiece. Megan Tate chipped in with 11 points. The team plays tonight. JV game at 6 and varsity at 7.30. Come out and support your Falcons.
There is a new bulletin board in student services recognizing student contributions to the community. Turn in your name and what you do and it will be posted. If you know anyone that won't recognize themselves, you can do it for them. Just turn in the information to Mrs. Elliott in room 1139. If you are looking for a way to earn your volunteer hours, head over to the Newport Ritchie Rec Center on December 21st from 7.30 to 5 p.m. They are in need of volunteers to assist for the Toys for Tots drive. There will be a tennis informational meeting today at 3 p.m. in room 4, 129 for any boys or girls interested in playing tennis. If you are unable to make it to the meeting but are interested in trying out or if you have any questions, please see Coach Pollock in room 3, 120 or Coach Goodell in room 3, 129. FCAT reading scores are in. If you took the FCAT reading retake in the fall of 2013, please stop by student services before school, during lunch, or after school to pick up your scores. Scores will not be distributed during classes or passing, so do not go during those times. On January 8th, the Wednesday we get back into school, the wrestling team is having an in-school wrestling match during 6th period. Tickets go on sale during lunch. Buy your tickets soon. Well, Falcons, that's all we have for you today. I'm Cole. And I'm Josh saying, have, have a great, great day, 5A.